Welcome to this demonstration of Cohesity's Data Platform Cloud Edition for Google Cloud Platform. In this demo, I'm going to walk through the process and procedures for successfully deploying a Cohesity cluster on GCP. So I'll start directly within the GCP console, uh, going into the VM instances. And by this time, you as a consumer, as a customer, would have been given access to a particular number or set of uh, images and instances that would allow you to uh, deploy or create a new instance for the control VM, which will then change the boot disk into the custom image that contains the actual configuration and all the content for the Cohesity cluster deployment and everything else. Here you can see that we're selecting, going through that process. Very quickly, I hit create. This should take yeah, not a, a long time, but basically you're able to define a particular instance size capacity, which is not to be uh, not too demanding for the control VM because basically we're going to perform a number of uh, tasks and execute a couple of commands which will then deploy the Cohesity cluster within GCP. So here you can see that now the instance of that particular control VM is now actually running. Uh, I actually uh, mask some of the IP information in terms of the external IP information. Typically you could access that either externally or within your private network if you have these sort of network configurations in place and they're actually fully connected. Now at this point, you'll see that uh, would imagine that you would have the necessary components and tools and SDKs required to, in, to operate or interoperate with uh, the Google Cloud. And in this particular case here, you'll see that I'm performing a number of uh, tasks, which basically are number one, logging into that one particular control VM instance. You can see that uh, there's a uh, uh, there's the IP address and actually the, the name itself. Now I'm navigating to look at the actual cluster config parameters JSON file, which is actually part of that image which was added to the control VM. And the reason for that is that we can identify and see the different uh, parameters that have to be entered from a cloud perspective, but also from a customer value perspective. As you can see here, some of those entries will, will have to do with the location of uh, a particular GCP authentication file path, and some of these things which will, I will actually cover, and you will see them being demonstrated here. But for the most part, it has to do with uh, resources, IP addresses, and some of the components that are needed in order to deploy the actual cluster. So now that you've seen the actual form, the actual JSON file, which has the parameters that have to be added and the values that have to be added in order to deploy within GCP, Let's take a look at some of the other items that we have to do. So obviously, there's one of the things that are somewhat unique uh, when compared to the other cloud deployments, uh, in the other major public cloud deployments. When it comes to identifying the authentication path, uh, GCP or Google uses a, a file which contains all the information and the actual keys and all that things that are needed to do this effectively. So one of the things that I'm going to do here, as you can see, I'm, I'm going to SCP the actual key onto the control VM. So then once I perform and configure all the different parameters that are needed for the cluster itself, the parameters uh, are gonna to point to the location of that uh, authentication file path, right? And that's what I'm actually doing. And I'm putting them in the right location as I fill out the, uh, the parameters that need to be added before the cluster deployment. Here you can see how some of that information could be edited uh, by into going into a, a text editor, VI, whichever one of your text editor of choice might be. You'll fill out this information, which obviously I will omit it here just for the purpose of keeping it in a general terms. Uh, but you'll be able to actually identify it and, and utilize the components and add the parameters that are needed for your particular infrastructure for what you're going to do within GCP. But all these parameters are, are customer driven, which you actually have to be added there. Obviously, once the, the JSON file and those, those parameters have been successfully filled out, you have the ability to now perform or execute the command which will then deploy the actual cluster itself. And here, as you can see, I've begun the process of deploying the cluster. And you can see how it's just gonna take its time. It's actually quite quickly done in terms of the amount of time that it takes to deploy this particular configuration. But you'll be able to track it from within a terminal as you deploy uh, the cluster from within the config VM, right? So first thing is to deploy the instance of the config VM. Once the config VM is available, you fill out the parameters for the JSON cluster config file, and then you have the ability to do this. As you can see here, I've deployed a three node cluster and they are listed already running. All those three instances are already running. As you can see on top of that, there's the uh, control VM. 
Now I have an actual IP that I can actually hit. And here's the cluster already deployed very quickly. So all you have to do now is basically log in and identify that the cluster was successfully deployed. Here you accept the EULA to be able to agree upon the terms there. You'll provide a particular license that you will have and you will have to add it to it. And obviously I've omitted it here again. But after this, the cluster is pretty much successfully deployed within GCP and you're now ready to begin the configuration and the utilization of that Cohesity cluster within GCP. And that's it. Thank you for watching.